All right, so we're going to get ready with uh, building this uh, Blue Life XL. Um, we're going to be building Team Win Recovery Project from scratch, uh, new device tree from it, or for it rather. And uh, so what we need to do is uh, it looks like I'd already started one, but we're going to we're going to start over, so that way we can go through the process together and hopefully learn a few great things along the way. Now I'm utilizing uh, for this particular build Ubuntu 14.04 because I'm building um, Lollipop 5.1 of Android and we're particularly building uh, using the OpenJDK uh, you know, 7 as opposed to using the new OpenJDK 8 because we're building for an older version of Android. So something to keep in mind if you're building for an older version of Android you don't want OpenJDK 8 which is the new standard you want to go ahead and use the uh, the older standard there. So we're going to look up minimal twerp and we're going to go with Omni and we'll open this up here and we'll look at how we do our setup here in just a minute and we want to go back Let's see, branches, we're going to go back to 5.1, looks like we've got everything here that we need, we'll go ahead and open up a new directory, we'll make a make dir, and we'll call this uh, min twerp omni 511. So let's go jump into that with CD to change directory. And now we already have the repo tool installed. If we were doing this for the very first time, the first thing that we'd want to do is jump over to Android, open source project. And you could uh, search this on the web. Android open search source project establishing a build environment is going to uh, help you get everything that you need. Um, so it talks about choosing a branch. Notice that it says the build is routinely tested on Ubuntu 14.04. Um, I've been using 18.04 for doing newer builds, but for building older versions of Android, I've been using the 14.04. You can build all the way up to Android Pie using 14.04. There is absolutely nothing wrong with using this older version of Ubuntu, but I have been successfully using the uh, the 18.04 version as well um, for later versions. But we're going to be using 14.04 here in our virtual box that we have set up and uh, you know it so it talks about installing OpenJDK 8 but in our case we don't need OpenJDK 8 we actually need 7 because we're building for uh, an older version and you can see that in requirements requirements tells you what you need and if we scroll down it says if you're going to be building Android 7, 8 or newer Pi, uh, you're going to need OpenJDK 8, and if you're going to be using 5.x for Lollipop or 6.0 for Marshmallow, you need OpenJDK 7, so that's what we have installed here, but essentially, uh, as you go through here, excuse me, <coughs> pardon, uh, as you go through here, you would uh, run these commands for sudo apt-get update, and we can even do that here, apt, oops, get update, going to ask for my super secret squirrel password there. So we update our tree, uh, then it's going to install, sudo apt get install, and in this case it's saying OpenJDK 8, but since we're building for an older version, we're going to get OpenJDK 7. However, if you're doing this exact same process for a newer phone uh, that's Nugget or newer, you're going to want to do this by getting OpenJDK 8. So let's see here. So we can sudo apt, can't type today, apt get install openjdk dash in our case 7 dash jdk and we hit yes and there actually is a newer version now available of this so we'll go ahead and install that but uh, the version that we had was openjdk 7 and, and would have worked just as well. 
while that's downloading we'll go ahead and look at uh, some of the other things in here um, it tells you how you can install OpenJDK 8 on Ubuntu 14.04 if you do happen to be using that. Um, I've made several videos on this, so I'm not going to rehash that here, but you're welcome to check those out if you have any questions about it. And then finally, for Ubuntu 14.04 or newer, you then need to copy this line and paste it into your terminal to get all the required programs for building Android. And it's it's very important to remember that you need these even though we're not building AOSP, we're building our minimal twerp, but we definitely need the same build tools. And so it's important to grab these as well. I already have them installed. There may be a newer version of a few of them. So we'll check that out in just a second here. Um, it's going through and installing uh, the latest version of Java. And then also we have this downloading the source. And from this downloading the source, we need to install this repo tool. Now I've covered this in a lot of videos before. And what we're doing to, to in this series, you know, by building a TeamWin recovery project uh, device tree from scratch is a little more advanced than maybe some of my basic tutorials. But if you need some help with building TeamWin recovery project and what we're doing exactly by establishing our build environment and downloading the repo tool and that sort of thing, please check out my videos for um, Team Win Recovery Project, just building for devices that have already been built, and even my uh, tutorials for um, compiling uh, Android in various uh, ROMs and that sort of thing. But essentially, you're just going to copy these commands, this make or this bin, you're going to add it to your path, and then you're going to curl or get this um, latest version of the repo tool and you're going to make it executable so you can run it as a program and that's where we get back to this uh, platform manifest uh, minimal um, team win recovery project so definitely something to keep in mind we'll uh, we'll go ahead and walk through this just to make sure we have the latest versions of everything and uh, looks like most everything is up to date except for one thing that needs to get upgraded and there we go that only took a second and of course um, we already have let's go back to our home folder we already have this bin and we can look inside the bin and we see that the repo tool has already been downloaded so we don't need to download that again But we will jump back into our minimal twerp omni. So once again, if you need some help with setting this up, uh, be sure to check out my other video series. I cover these in depth and uh, explain these requirements a lot better as well. So what we want is we're going to repo init and we're going to grab this uh, this manifest here and so we're in the directory that we want to put it and we're going to use this repo init command and we're going to initialize this repository and again I cover this in more detail when we're looking at some of the more basic things of how we build Android once again we're just kind of fast forwarding through this because we want to um, work on uh, the actual process of building a device tree uh, rather than how we build Team Win Recovery Project or how we build Android, but I do have tons of videos on those that you're welcome to check out. And so then we repo sync and we're going to download that information. And uh, fortunately for you, I won't make you sit here and watch the whole download, and uh, we'll just pick this up when it's done in the next video. But uh, hopefully you'll be uh, you'll be ready to uh, start building a device tree from scratch for Team Win Recovery Project. So that should be pretty exciting and I hope you uh hope you're looking forward to that as well.